Hey, what's going on with it, bros? I'm the one, you know, the old criticism guy 2008 can it's on for 2011. I know I'm a little late on this, but you know what? <laughs> Fuck it, I don't care. So yeah, you know, for the past two months I actually heard about this, and remote control cars actually go by themselves. And they're actually getting hacked. So this is alternative media stuff, so if you don't want to wake up, stay asleep. Go watch your little reality shows or any of those fake stuffs. Go right that loud, because I'm not going to stop. So yeah, um, kind of got to keep it down. One of my roommates is kind of taking a nap. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's begin. I'm going to show you this little quick um, slideshow. Hopefully you enjoy it. So yeah, um, I know Christopher Green, a.k.a. Greenway 2, the alternative media television. He actually talked about this a month ago when Michael Hastings ended up passing away because the FBI ended up um, tracking some microchip device or like um, remote control device where they can make his like car go from 0 to 60 in 0.5 fucking seconds. And that shit is, not gonna lie, it's a little fucking death divine and scared because in a way, it is a little awkward because, um, there's no way in hell nothing could go that fast. I know that one's kind of joke with the Super Mario thing going on. So yeah, basically what it comes down to is, um, I guess unfortunately the government they have the power to control, like, um, people's cars now with the more new advanced cars that comes out. Even though they look badass and fucking sick, I'm not gonna lie. Stylish is nice design, but behind that is a lot more ugly, evil lies, deeds, and totalitarian police state shit behind all that. They track and monitor every single little thing that you do, just like the fucking Utah Data Center does, and they can go fuck themselves, by the way. Um, now the car's got the power to do that. And look, that's a real bad look, because, you know, there was actually a little thing on Forbes magazine where they were showing, like, these two guys, one of the co-founders of Twitter and then the other um, CEO managers of um, these hacking manager devices or whatever. They were showing this guy, um, I forgot what his name was, but it kind of looks like that dude from that little sheeple thing. What the fuck is it called? Um, uh, fuck. Matt Wahlberg or something? Not Mark Wahlberg, but the other one, Matt Lauer or something? Yeah, that's him. Um, they showed him he was trying to drive the car and he kept jerking it the whole time. It looked funny and everything, but at the same time, it's very dangerous because there are going to be millions of people's lives out there on roads that stay, even though I only drive like once a month and shit. But it's kind of a risk taker, if you ask me myself, because <laughs> unfortunately, I'm going to feel bad for all those people that are going on the roads because they have no idea what to expect. This shit is fucking scary. This isn't a little fan fiction George Orwell 1980s scenario. This is real fucking life. This is a real reality stuff. Not the little fake ones on TV and shit, you know? This is the damn fucking truth. You don't like it? Tough shit. Just gotta deal with it. On the last two statements I want to point out is number one, um, this probably answers another opinion on um, Michael Hastings' um, death. What happened? He was going to get one of the CEO leaders for like the one that helped up that guy from WikiLeaks out. And unfortunately, um, his death came at a really early time. It's like, you know, it's like 33. He's a little bit older than I am. I know that. And uh, number two, I know this has nothing to do with it, but uh, they said something about Edward Snowden having a lot more of a residency or a safe haven for him out in Russia. So thoughts and prayers go out to him because um, he's basically a marked man. He could get killed by the U.S. any time, unfortunately. Any of the drone strikes and shit, even though Obama said, oh, he's not going to do it. Fucking bullshit. He is going to fucking do it. He won't have no hesitation. He'll just... Off with your fucking head with a laser beam, you know? But other than that, that's really all I have to say on this um, alternative media news thing. And like I always say, is what it is, ain't what it ain't. See when I see you guys have a good day, have a good night, wherever you're at around the world. And uh, yeah, peace out, take care, goodbye. And um, don't drink or smoke weed at the same time. And don't do anything reckless, all right? Guys, keep it safe, keep it locked, stay safe, see you soon. All that good shit. Peace out, late, goodbye. And um, take it even easy, everyone, all right? Be easy. Goodbye. And uh, yeah. Happy weekend, because it's probably not coming out till Friday, but on this side of the world, it'll be Thursday.